As 3i Atlas reaches its perihelion, its closest distance to the sun, what's even a greater threat than that is Apophis, this asteroid coming towards Earth in 2029. And then some estimates are saying there's a 2% chance it could hit the Earth. Other estimates are saying it could come around again in 2068 and hit the Earth that time. It appears there could be a cover-up going on at NASA. As we know, there's been a cover-up going on at least with the 3i Atlas stuff, when they took pictures of it, the best images that anybody should have gotten on October 2nd and still haven't released those images. What are they trying to hide here? So let's take a look at Apophis because there is strange things surrounding it. And I'll do a 3i Atlas update on the perihelion and strange things there on my main channel uploaded today. Um, Sling and Stone over there. So here's some information into this whole Apophis thing. Initial estimates predicted Apophis was going to make two extremely close passes of Earth. The first is going to be on April 13th, 2029, and is going to get uncomfortably close to us. If it manages to miss us, then depending on the exact trajectory it goes past, astronomers worry that the next flyby in late March of 2036 certainly could hit us. So that's what they are saying. That's on Deep Astronomy YouTube channel. And here's some articles in relation to it. Asteroid Rock NASA preparing for a colossal god of chaos rock to arrive in the next 10 years. That's another strange thing. 3i Atlas is named after 3i, the third interstellar object that we've seen. And Atlas was the name of the telescope that first found it. But Apophis or Apophis is the name of a god of chaos and a god of destruction in Egyptian spirituality. So kind of strange that they would name it that. Even if they do think that there was a possibility of it hitting the earth, Kind of a ominous name to give an object that could potentially be a city destroyer, as they're calling it. There is a chance, a small one, that an asteroid will hit Earth in 2032. It is nicknamed Asteroid 2024 YR4 and has about a 1.2% chance of striking the planet. The threat was first discovered by an asteroid alert system. It is moving away from the Earth right now, but it is predicted to come back uh, around 2028. Astronomers have been recording observations of the asteroid from around the world to try to get a better idea of the size. So it's interesting that we're getting more of these, as you hear there. It's a different asteroid that they're predicting. But when it comes to this um, Apophis thing or Apophis, it's um, it's a little odd how there appears to be, again, a cover up. As we'll look at Tom Horn mention this, I, I posted a video on my channel here, but we'll watch another video of him mentioning it just how he was told from a NASA insider that they had knowledge that this thing could hit the earth and that they are covering up that information. And you just have to think if they actually knew an asteroid or a comet was going to hit the earth, do you really think that NASA would release that information to the public? I don't think so. It's also strange here that again, with this God of chaos uh, asteroid coming, we have the 99942, that's its name. This could obviously be turned upside down, 666, and we'll get into strange spiritual aspects concerning that in just a minute here. But here we see, will Apophis hit Earth in 2029? We'll know in 2027, and it's estimated to come on Friday the 13th in October 29, two, uh, yeah, 2029. So it says it's a city killer. Uh, that's when it, uh, the size of it is about um, the size of the Empire State Building. But it says here that there's a 2% chance that it will be a direct hit. In 2021, NASA ruled that out uh, after calculations were refined on it, allegedly. But then they say when it's getting so close, it'll be so close in 2029, you'll be able to see it with the naked eye. And then as it goes around, I mean, it, it comes back around the Earth every 324 days. And they're saying when it comes in 2029 or 36 or 2068, that it has the potential to hit the earth. So this is um pretty weird. And it's getting to the point where it's like, would would we really even know if um are they just kind of giving us this, this information? Because as we've seen, they're withholding information in relation to 3i Atlas. And uh there are just weird things surrounding this. And again, I've talked about this before, but I want to cover it as it appears this could be even stranger and more dangerous than 3i Atlas. Tom Horn predicted in his book in 2019, Wormwood Prophecies. That the start date of the great the seven year great tribulation will begin on October thirteenth, two thousand twenty five. The tribulation starts when the Antichrist fulfills a false peace treaty with Israel. Horn did this by subtracting three and a half years 
from the Apophis Comet, named after the Egyptian god of chaos, passing by Earth, which is um which will be on April 13, 2029. He was right um, that on the exact same day he predicted that Donald Trump would fulfill this. Again, 2019 is when this was this book by Tom Horn was written. And then what did we see on this date, October 13th, 2025? Well, fulfillments of peace moving forward in the Middle East. Pretty strange and pretty interesting that that happened. Tom Horn, Horn, Tom Horn also got revelation from God that the Pope, Pope Benedict would step down before it even happened. And he was correct on that. He made that prediction and then it didn't happen. And he was thinking, well, did I hear wrong? Then it turns out that internally at the Vatican, that did happen. And then later we found out and which exactly what happened was that Pope Benedict did step down. So this is for sure something very interesting to consider. I don't think Trump is the Antichrist, but it's odd that these things are happening very much according to what um, Tom Horn predicted. And again, with relation to different Bible prophecies that we know are going to be coming to fulfillment. And will these things like Apophis fulfill this? Well, we'll just have to see, but it's definitely intriguing. Here's Tom Horn talking about his Apophis stream on the Prophecy Watchers YouTube channel. You can find the, the video here, but we'll watch it here. Uh, Tom Horn, the Apophis stream. Let's take a listen. 19, the, the most vivid and frankly ter uh, terrifying, terrifying vision in the middle of the night, more real than this muted matrix we live in here is. Yes. Um, scared me to the bone. And I won't go into all the details because it's a lot of details. Uh, but this one little thing, I looking up into the heavens and what looked to me like a fiery dragon moving serpent-like, hmm. uh, racing towards the earth, right? Then, you know how dreams are, my point of view suddenly changed. And now I'm up above the object looking down at it and I can see it's not a fiery dragon. It's a giant rock and it's moving through space and the way it's turning and the way the sunlight is moving up and down on the grades on it, the contour, it's giving it the appearance that it's moving serpent-like through space, racing towards the earth. Bottom line is, when I woke up, I jumped up and I almost fell out of bed. I was so scared, it's cold sweat, mm. grabbed my paper to start writing down that I keep next to my bed. But it was as if a voice spoke. I don't know if this was just in my head, I really can't say, but one word, apophis. Um, and I, I, the only thing I knew, Gary, I knew that there was an ancient Egyptian chaos dragon, a, a god of chaos, mm -hmm. uh, by the name of Apophis. Didn't really know too much about it. Um, and, uh, and I knew that NASA had named an asteroid Apophis. Didn't know anything about that. But what I had seen in this dream was definitely an asteroid. It wasn't a giant serpent like I first thought it was. Uh, and so I got up out of bed, went to my computer, and that's how all of this got started. I started doing research on the asteroid Apophis, what NASA was saying about it, what they today are saying about it, and other uh, astronomers. And one thing led to the other, which led, of course, to the writing of the book, but also persuaded me that NASA is involved in a cover-up of what they actually know about this space rock. In later interviews, Tom would say that he spoke to people at NASA. They were told that there was a potential of this object coming towards the earth and then a potential hit. And what would happen then would be that uh, they, they're just keeping that information from the public again, because, well, that just makes sense that that is what they would do. So interesting information as we're seeing all this stuff become more of a common place in society and today. And then with three Atlas today reaching closest position to the sun, we'll see what happens when it comes out from behind it. But interesting information to keep our eye on. Of course, God is in control over it all. All of the Lord Jesus, his word gives us revelation. And as we head into the future with different deceptions and different things unfolding on the earth, you definitely want to be following Jesus in these times coming in the future.